For the first time, the prison seamstress breaking down in court right in front of the cameras. Here are the pictures tonight, wiping away tears, pleading guilty, revealing her sexual relationship, her plot with the two escape killers, and what she was supposed to do to her husband. And remember, American taxpayers footing the bill in this case for that emergency response that terrified towns on lockdown. One convict dead, the other caught, and tonight the woman at the center of it all for the first time on why she did it. We begin with ABC's Gio Benitez. Today, Joyce Tilly Mitchell in stripes, shackles and tears, pleading guilty to helping the two murderers escape. She was swept off her feet a bit uh, for a period. And then when she realized who she was dealing with, everything changed. In newly released statements, Mitchell describes a deepening friendship with inmate Richard Matt. Quote, he treated me with respect and was nice to me, she says. He made me feel special. That relationship turning sexual. Inmate Matt grabbed me and kissed me. Mitchell also admits sending naked pictures to the other prisoner, David Sweat, telling police Matt told her we were all going to be together. She got in over her head into something that she never should have started. But she did, and uh, she's paying the price. Mitchell admits smuggling hacksaw blades, chisels, a punch tool, and a screwdriver to the prisoners, hiding them inside frozen hamburger meat. Matt giving her two pills to drug her husband Lyle on the day of the escape. They referred to Lyle as the glitch. The plan? Joyce Mitchell would pick up the escapees and drive back home where they would kill her husband. But she gets cold feet, and when she doesn't show up, the men escape into the deep, rugged woods launching the three-week manhunt. Joyce Mitchell soon under arrest as we track down her husband. What do you make of the reports that she was trying to have you killed? Today, Lyle Mitchell visiting his wife in jail. And why did she do it? I was caught up in the fantasy, she says. I enjoyed the attention, the feeling both of them gave me, and the thought of a different life. Joyce Mitchell will be sentenced in September. She faces up to seven years behind bars. David, her lawyer says she knows she made a horrible mistake. And her husband visiting her today. That's right. Gio, thank you.